Hey, what's up guys? It's Link here, back with a video. Um, I've been debating to make this video, but I decided to just do it because I know I said it at the end of my direct reaction. But before we start, if you guys want to see more content like this, please like, share, subscribe, and hit the bell notification. And let's just jump into it. So, you guys already know, Markar 8 Deluxe is getting DLC, and in a way, it's about time they did. I know a lot of people want Mark Kart 9, and to be honest, I was on the same boat because it's like, okay, it's been already five years, or technically additional five years, because Mark Kart 8 came out on the Wii U, and yeah, like we been in that sense needing another Mark Kart game. Now, Mark Kart 8 Deluxe technically has sold a lot of copies, so it makes sense why they didn't want to. Um, do another game and they're probably going to save that for the next console yeah the next gen console and honestly i don't mind the dlc i think it's pretty cool especially the fact that they're recycling tracks from tour because again i don't know who the hell still plays mario kart tour i'm sorry if you're one of those people i mean whatever whatever's fun for you right but to be honest i just find it like really sad because i don't know why Nintendo was like, hey, let's do a Mario Kart mobile game, which did not sound like a bad idea, but it was just like, uh, uh, hold on. And then the moment we found out what it was, it's just like, oh, great, this is bad. But to be honest, an additional 48 courses and the price for $25, it's a real steal. And to be honest, it's pretty cool. But the thing that I'm technically in that sense upset about is, or technically what I hope for, is I hope we get costumes because again, remember literally back in 2018, we got the Breath of the Wild Link costume, which came with a new bike. And to be honest, like that is something I hope we do get in the coming updates. Because to be honest, when they dropped the that Link DLC, literally like what was it, like a couple weeks later or so, like um Nintendo was addressing that they were going to do more updates like that and yeah I was looking forward to that I remember like every direct it's like what if they just drop something cool or not even just a direct like what if just randomly they just post it on their YouTube or Twitter but just the fact that they did not um, do anything else after that I was just like oh no what's gonna happen like they did do an update for the label support and to be honest it's just like okay that's cool but now I'm wondering, it's like, are they going to do more DLC characters or have costumes? Because that's what I'm hoping for. Because again, Mario Kart Tour introduced a lot of like um, characters and even returning characters that are not in Mario Kart 8. So I'm hoping we do get that. And again, I hope we just get like some costumes too. Because again, nobody asked for Tanuki, Mario, and Cat Peach to be their own characters. But I will pull up the list of all the characters that are in Tour and discuss about it. So here's the, the list of all the characters that are in the game. And again, you're already familiar with some of the characters that are already in Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. And there are some returning characters, for example, like Diddy Kong, Birdo, and Funky Kong in Tor. But again, they should have been in Mario Kart 8 Deluxe, to be honest. But again, you can also see there's a bunch of costumes for characters. And again, like I said before, I don't get why Cat Peach and um, Tanuki Mario are characters when they could have just been costumes. But other than that, um, there are some interesting characters here. Like, for example, Pauline, it would be cool, they, again, if they just brought her in. Or the fact that Kamek, who is a character that was supposed to be in the past marker game, um, I believe it was 64, end up um, finally being in the game in Tor. And also, you have also King bob -omb, Pit Crew Toads, the Koopas that you race with in, um, in uh, Mark Odyssey. And also you have the technically the hammer, boomerang, fire, ice bros. Like oh, it's just cool. Then you have Monty. Like it's like you have all these extra characters that I will like if they put in. But I I'm kind of like skeptical about it. Again, they have King Boo, but this this one's like the one from Luigi's Mansion, and it will be also cool. They made that as like a skin, and it's just like honestly like this is where I ask you guys like what do you think like should there be more costumes? Or should these be like, you know, some characters? Again, I don't think some of these should be characters because, again, it's just some of our just legitly just costumes. But also, too, the fact that we could even get some new cards like what they did with Link. Because, again, 
if they did the Breath of the Wild um, skin, they could do the... Yeah, they could bring in new bikes and carts. But also, there's some other characters that are missing. Like, for example, there's P.D. Piranha from Double Dash. Also, Paratroopa. Rob from Mario Kart DS. And also, the Wiggler and the Honey Queen from um, Mario Kart 7. And it's just so crazy. And then we also got Pac-Man in the arcade version, which would be cool. Because again, that's a guest character that could come back. And not just Pac-Man. Again, no, there's like Miss Pac-Man and I think some of the Ghost and some other like Bandai, like uh, Namco characters. But also too, it would be cool if we get some other guest characters. Like for example, it would be cool if we get Captain Falcon. Because again, we do have the Blue Falcon cart and also the two courses from F-Zero in the game. And it will be also cool if we get uh, Kirby, because again, they made like a little tease when Kirby was racing with the other racers for the Rosalina reveal in Super Smash Bros. Uh, Wii U 3DS. And it will be also cool if we get, you know, Fox from Star Fox, because again, there was that rumor that uh, we were gonna get a Star Fox Grand Prix game. And honestly, that was the most funniest rumor ever. I'm not even joking. But yeah, that's honestly, just something i really hope we do get in the meantime because again we are getting a paid you know dlc for courses but i don't mind if we get free or paid dlc for characters but then again we did get a free dlc when the breath of the wild link costume and cart dropped so yeah like i just again i hope we do get characters costumes and carts bikes as either paid or free dlc but honestly what do you guys think um do you guys want to see this type of content um you know drop in mark heart let me know in the comments down below or honestly just let me know what you guys think and also if you guys like this video please like share subscribe it would really mean so much if you guys do and also hit the bell notification to be notified for future content as well and yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this video this is link saying thanks for watching and i will see you guys next time